How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And what is going on out here? Do you mind dying a bit quieter? Thank you. I'm trying to do an intro here. Um, where was I? Yeah. Man, got him. Um, welcome. Welcome back. We are back in the new, the new part of the old world. I've added I'll give you a little tour of what, a, what I've done off camera. Uh, this I think is new. I've put some paths down because that's just a boring right clicking and stuff. I didn't want to subject you all to that. So yeah, there's some paths going up to the creeper head, down to the village there. Um, I've put in the bubble elevator. So instead of cr uh, climbing up the scaffolding super slow, we just pop in here and in no time almost no time a bit more than no time but still pretty good time we're up and the farm's going well speak of the devil very good stuff um, yeah more paths down there and if you can I don't know if you can see over there start now you can't see it's underwater I think but I've started preparing for today's episode, which is more farms. I'm going to finally make use of this little structure here, because at the moment it's literally just a uh, sugarcane farm, which is good. It's putting in some good work, but I want to kind of have, you know, more stuff for these guys to trade, because at the moment it's just sugarcane. And that's uh, no bueno. So I'm thinking that we're going to add some more farm stuff over here so we can really get this emerald production up and running. So yeah, that's what we're going to do in today's episode. Um, what I want to do is I've already kind of started putting... Oh, hey kitty. I didn't realize we had cats over here. Well, oh, maybe I'll tame you later. Um, so we're going to do a cactus farm here. Just because, you know, you never know when you might need a, need a cactus. Green dye will be good for... I mean, I don't know, is there a villager that you can trade dye with? I'll have to look into that, but if there is, that'll be good to get one of them in the trading hall, and then when I can eventually mass produce green dye, that would be very handy. So this is kind of planning for the future that uh, I don't know if it'll happen or not. But, you know, it's never, never a bad idea to have a cactus farm going. And then we're going to do a pig farm as well separate from the pig farm back at the other base. This is a purely for trading for emeralds pig farm because one of the villagers in the hall wants raw pork so we shall give him what he desires. And finally I also want to get a what's it called? Cocoa bean farm going because that's good for brown dye, which might be something that we need at some point. Really, this is all just kind of preemptive farming and planning. Don't know exactly when I'm going to need it, but it'll be good to have. Okay, that's that all filled in. Now we're going to... That's the best way of doing this. We have cactuses, hoppers, and chests. So I think what we can do, this may not be the most efficient, but we're going to go there, 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 and there, and then I need a fence, don't I? Uh, I can put this dirt away for the moment. Don't need you right now. So we've got a fence here. And then 
place a cactus on each of these. I think as it grows, it should just pop off and then let's go. Wait, hang on. Um, what's the best way of setting this up? I don't use very much, many hoppers, as you can tell. I think if we go like this. And then we'll place them like that. They should all feed into the middle there. Is that the best way of doing it? Or does it involve running water? I think it's going to involve running water. So maybe we scrap that idea real quick. Break this down. And then break you down. And you. Okay, so... I'm thinking how we're going to do this. Maybe we'll put... A row of sand around here. And then here we can do the gathering point. And I think that was correct about if we go like this. Is this going to work? Go like up here, up here, and then do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket. How far does that travel? Hmm. Not very far. Let's see here. What if we do this? This is me just kind of spitballing as usual. I just, oh, so many cats. Hey guys. Um, Cause I don't want to just keep using other people's tutorials. I want to figure stuff out for myself, you know? part of the fun but that also does mean that I could also be a big idiot and not know what I'm doing um, hmm Did not really think this through. Uh, originally I was just going to start putting down a bunch of hoppers, but then I realized that's not the most efficient way of doing it. And water is a good way of transporting the cacti. Hmm. <laughs> this has got me confuzzled. Okay, it may not be the prettiest system but it works and for now that is all that matters I can always beautify it a little bit if I need to but I think that will do I've tested it anything that falls down into the water here it will eventually make its way down to these hoppers and these chests so that means we are good to begin the placing of the fence posts. Uh, should be here, no? Yes. Uh, give this shovel back. I think that's the right spot for it. So they grow, bang, break, fall down. Lovely. Now it's a matter of 
Doing this, I guess. Let's place one of these every. Oh, hello, rain. Every couple of things like this, and they should work out so that no matter where it is the cactus grows, it will break. And quickly do the same. Going down this way. Whoops. What am I thinking? That's not right at all. There we go. Bang, bang. No. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. And finally, bang, bang. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Quickly go back through and break all of these dirty, dirty dirt blocks. Now let's start placing some cacti. I did almost uh, place one on the block that I was going to jump to, that would have been awkward. Okay. Oh. Cactus, 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 cactus. I need to actually do this, there we go. Perfect! So. Now these cacti should just grow, break on the fence post, and then fall down here into the lovely collection points. Excellent. Well that is one farm done. Put the rest of this away. Next up I want to Start up a good old cocoa bean farm. So for that, I have placed some dirt down here. So this will be the jungle tree farm. So I guess why not we'll start over here. And we'll place one there. Grow it up. That's not very tall at all. Oh well, we'll do for now. And there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that works out alright. That's better. That's a jungle tree. I don't know what this is. Pop some cocoa beans all the way around. As high as I can reach. Whoops. I guess I had <laughs> less than I thought. Oh well, they are placed and they are now farming it up. Come back and check on your progress later. Now the final farm that I want to do is... So I've got some beetroot growing here. Not exactly the big money maker because I think you only get one beetroot per plant. So we're also going to include some pigs behind it. So that we can get maximum efficiency of beetroot and raw pork chops going at the same time. We can really bring in the big cashola. So this is going to be real boring. So I will see you in just one moment while this is all filled in. Alrighty, dirt is placed, fence is down. Uh, I did realize uh, halfway through, well, halfway through, out to the end, and thought, wow, this looks incredibly just brown and not very animal friendly. So I quickly flew back to the old base, main base, picked up some silk touched grass blocks that I had lying around. So let's put them down like that. And then we'll just give them give them some time. And we should be good to go. That should fill up nicely. We're gonna 
break this because I can see that uh, these crops are not a fan of having no water source. So I'll just pop that there as well. That should be nice and hydrated now. So we'll just wait for this to green up and then ready to move some pigs in. Oh, hello creeper. I do need to put some torches and stuff down around here because we got some nasty spawning. For now, let's just do a bit of this. Bang, bang. Thank you, man. Right, I think. We're cooking with some gas now. I uh, don't know how well this cactus farm is working so far. I don't know how quickly cactus actually grows. Can you bone meal cactus? Does that make it grow? I don't think so. Let's test it. You sure can't? Okay, I guess this is kind of the thing, one of the ones where I'll have to just AFK near it for a while. And hopefully stuff will grow. But yeah, that's that. Let's see how it looks from the viewing platform, also known as the Creeper Farm. Should look quite okay. And smooth landing. Oh, right in the water. Good job. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's looking pretty okay. Nice bit of... I don't know what I'm going to do in there. I'll probably end up expanding the cactus farm. But at the moment, it made more sense to just have a couple of rows there. Maybe I'll do some, some other kind of farm in that bit. But we've got the cocoa beans growing, sugar cane growing, cactus growing. I forgot that's by the creeper farm. I just got scared. And then when that's all green, we'll get some pigs in. Yeah, it's a lovely view from up here. I keep forgetting how nice it is. Oh, these things here. I kind of just mapping out where I want to do some little builds. And, uh, speaking of builds. Ignore this big carved out rectangular thing. There's definitely nothing going on over there. Wink wink. But that'll be for another time. A future video. And you'll see what's going on then. But for now, I think that will do for this episode. As always, thank you guys so so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Discord as well if you want. We're a few, but we'll have a good time in there. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode.